Not hurt. You get it? No, it's what's the end of the screw, I think. So I'll tell you what, f the head, dude. Right, so there's been a bit of a change of plan. We now need to get Cody's cheap and tank ready for uh, exporting. We had a phone call late last night saying that basically it's got to get on the boat on the 13th. So we've got about a week. There's still a few bits we need to do, clean and sort out inside the turret uh, and prepare for. So we're going to have to drag the outrig out uh, and move that out of the way. It's going to put that on pause for a minute. Um, and we need to put Cody's in the bigger part of the workshop so we can actually do the jobs to it and get it ship shaped ready for Cody. So we're going to have a move round of stuff. Now we'll see how that goes. How you getting on, gang? Shit, no walking tool. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't use that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice one, Sam. Broke. No, you've broken it. Broke. Send it back. Fucking snap on. Get some tape around that. It'll have to. Uh... I know we got any duct tape. We're bound to have somewhere. I shall uh, leave someone else to find that. Scrubby, scrubby, scrub. Oh, you covered the board. Teddy, what do you think? Ready to catch? You can mend that hoover now. That's from zip ties to seal the. Uh... Seal the mask you, you bodge artist. What are you doing? You're so stupid. You're so stupid. Right, so the next job, we're going to fit some new parts on the better of the two Fodens. I say better, they're both good, good Fodens, but this one's slightly tidier. Um, so we're going to use the green one to tow the Avery out, because obviously the Avery we haven't finished yet, uh, and then we need to get Cody's in. So the first job is to fit the new hydraulic oil parts on the crane. Okay, so your Corby breaking hose, thank you Rob. Um, let's put them on now. I think so much easier than it's freezing cold. Two parts are on. Thank you, Rob. Now let's uh, go and get the holly bones and pull this abri out. Let's not forget the toolbox. Well, it's a bit of a pity. I didn't plan on taking the Avery outside. I wanted to get it finished and driving first before we did anything like that. But obviously, we've got a week to get Cody's tank ship shape cleaned, uh, ready for um, ready for shipping. So I'm going to have to put the poor old Avery outside for about a week while we get that all sorted. So I don't want it getting wet. So the tarp will have to do. The big scent tent.
I don't work, I'll wait. <laughs>
Right, well that's the Abbott in and Cody's tank ready to do some work. Don't pull it all out. Jack was dying to have a go at needle gunning the Abbott to see just how well the paint's going to flake off. Needle gunning one of these vehicles usually takes about a week, uh, sometimes a week and a half if you're doing a main battle tank. But hopefully this old girl will... Uh, clean up really really tidy very soon so as I said before in my last video the tracks need a hell of a lot more washing all this mud in the tracks has got to go that literally won't be allowed to be shipped out like that um, there's also uh, soil and dust and bits and pieces so I'm probably going to take the boxes off to clean behind them the road wheels have got mud stuff between them so they'll have to be cleaned out as well Now it's time to put the Avery back out of the way before it gets dark. I can't get over how powerful and useful these Fodrum heavy recoveries are. They weigh the best part of 30 ton and they make pulling this 52 ton main battle tank light work. They're literally not a problem for them. Yeah, I can. Let me say where I am. What shall I say? Thanks ever so much for watching. Yeah. Hopefully see you again soon. All right. See you later. Thanks ever so much for watching. Um, we'll see you again soon. See you later. <laughs> Can't always be a fish. <laughs>